Whether it's because of her untimely and tragic passing here, or simply because it was the last place she spent her time, the Hollywood Hills mansion of the late Brittany Murphy has always been a topic of conversation. Back in 2003, the budding young actress dropped $3.85 million on the 8,000 square foot property and soon after moved in with her mother Sharon. Back in 2009, an era that feels like a lifetime ago for some of us, former actress Brittany Murphy died in her Hollywood Hills home at the age of just 32 years old. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. To that point in her young life, Brittany was a promising actress who had starred in hit films like Clueless, 8 Mile, and the romantic comedy Just Married alongside her former boyfriend, Ashton Kutcher. Yet a sudden mysterious illness would bring her entire life to a tragic close in the very home that she lived in. But the hits didn't stop there. Just five months later, Britney's husband, Simon Monjack, would also be found dead in their property, passing away in an equally mysterious manner. HBO Max released a special documentary that took a look at the end of this former starlet's life titled What Happened Britney Murphy, looking at the unusual coincidences that connected Britney's death with that of her husband's. Not to mention what their massive $3.85 million property they lived in at the time might have had to do with it. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and today we are going to look at the former mansion of the late Brittany Murphy. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Prior to Britney Murphy moving into her mansion in the Hollywood Hills, the home had another famous tenant, Britney Spears. That's right, the Princess of Pop used to own this property located on Rising Glen Road, sitting atop the Sunset Strip. Back then, Spears was still dating Justin Timberlake when she reportedly had something of an otherworldly encounter that would encourage her to sell the home and move out as quickly as possible. Spears' former makeup artist Julianne K once explained to the hosts of We Need to Talk About Britney podcast that, I'm just gonna say, this is really weird. She calls me, I had my friend do Reiki healing on her. He had come up, I guess she'd had a crazy partying weekend and needed to relax. He left and she swears to God that he opened up some spirit portal or something and these bad spirits had come in and they were like trying to push her down the stairs or something crazy. Yeah, I'd say that sounds pretty crazy indeed. Eventually Spears feeling about the home grew so morbid that she left and wound up staying at the Casa del Mar hotel for weeks, never to return. Unfortunately, Spears never mentioned the unsettling feelings the home was stirring up to the woman she wound up selling it to. To Brittany Murphy. Murphy dropped $3.85 million on the property in June of 2003 and soon after moved into the 8,000 square foot premises with her mom, Sharon. During those last few years of her life, Murphy never claimed to see spirits or experience supernatural forces of any type, but she always seemed to be uncomfortable when staying there and felt like something wasn't right. For instance, in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter shortly after Brittany's passing, her husband Simon would tell them media outlet that Murphy did her absolute best to avoid the home at all costs. He told them, she absolutely hated the Rising Glen house. Every time we would drive up Sunset, Britt would say, please, can we stay at the Beverly Hills Hotel? I'd say, honey, you've got to be realistic. We have our house, a 10,000 square foot home. We're going to stay in it. Rather than being straight up haunted, Simon would tell reporters that Murphy believed the property was quote unquote unlucky and in the months leading up to her death, she was preparing to move out and head to New York State where she was hoping that she and Simon could start a family. According to her husband, the only place that Murphy ever felt safe in the house was in the ensuite bathroom where she spent hours reading magazines, singing to herself and writing poetry. This little biographical detail only makes it all the more tragic to realize that when Britney took her final breaths, it would be in this very spot. In the early morning hours of December 20th, 2009, a brief power outage took place at Britney Murphy's home. The 32-year-old actress went out onto her balcony to get some fresh air and looked down to where her mother was sitting just below her to say, 
Mom, I'm dying, I love you. Moments later, Murphy would collapse on her bathroom floor as her mother rushed upstairs to be by her side. 911 was called, but after going into cardiac arrest, Brittany Murphy passed away. Following this shocking turn of events, there was wild speculation over what had happened. Was drug use involved? Maybe an eating disorder? In February of 2010, the LA's coroner office would officially rule Brittany's cause of death to be pneumonia. Secondary factors included an iron deficiency Efficiency, while Vicodin, respiratory infection medication, and antidepressants were also found in her system. In short, Brittany's death was ruled to be an accident, and the county's chief coroner would state she had been sick for at least two weeks. Had they taken her to a doctor or hospital, it would have been treatable. After her passing, Brittany's mom Sharon would inherit her daughter's fortune, including the home where they lived. And while Simon had reportedly intentionally been left out of his wife's will, his former manager claims that he was still able to snatch up around 80% of Brittany's money from various bank accounts before his own death. Speaking of which, in a shocking twist of fate, Simon's body was found in the very same home where his wife had died only five months earlier. On May 23rd, 2010, he was discovered by his former mother-in-law, Sharon, in an unresponsive state. And by the time first responders had arrived, Simon was pronounced dead. According to those that knew him, Simon was battling dependency issues with drugs like heroin. And his own mother, Linda, would reveal that her son had a slight heart attack only a short time before Brittany's own passing. She also claims that her son suffered from seizures. Primary cause of Simon's death, like Brittany's, was ruled to be pneumonia. There were also some prescription drugs in his system, but not enough to cause an overdose apparently. Because Brittany and her husband died of the same condition in their family home, there was a theory floating around that so-called toxic black mold could have been the cause. Los Angeles County Department of Health originally confirmed that this was a theory they were investigating, but it was later dismissed after the coroners stated that there were no indicators that mold was a factor. Since Brittany and Simon's unfortunate and mysterious deaths, their former home has changed hands multiple times. According to property records, the home was first sold by Sharon at a massive loss for just $2.7 million in 2011 after nearly two years of struggling to find a buyer. Then in 2013, the home was torn down and underwent a multi-year rebuild with its new developers aiming to create a sprawling contemporary home. When it was finally placed on the market and sold again in 2017, it went for the gigantic sum of $14.53 million while also bearing no resemblance to the old house. Today, the home measures an incredible 9,400 square feet while boasting five bedrooms as well as eight and a half bathrooms. The main suite is a 2,000 square foot room all on its own and includes not one, but two walk-in closets and two ensuite bathrooms. If I'm being honest, that last addition might have been arranged so that whoever is living there now doesn't have to wonder if they're standing in the very spot where Brittany Murphy took her final breaths. I don't think that's anyone's idea for a great way to kick off your work day. But with its open floor plan, high ceilings, rooms that open completely to outdoor lounge spaces, all of which offer unobstructed city views, not to mention features like a home theater, massage room, wine cellar, infinity pool, and spa, this home is looking to throw off its former horrific reputation. It was most recently sold to its newest owners in December of 2020 for $11.59 million. I'd like to know if they've ever gotten any funny feelings while living there too. But until we find that out, we'll just have to theorize over what really happened to Brittany Murphy and her husband Simon, and whether or not their mysterious Hollywood address had anything to do with their untimely passing. Well, that's gonna wrap up this house tour. Let let me know your thoughts on Brittany Murphy's one-time home and this whole tragedy in the comments down below. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye.